Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome to Basic Calculus once again, and we are going to continue our discussion for the derivatives or the differentiation topics. So for this video, we are going to learn about the derivatives of some functions, specifically focusing on the trigonometric functions, exponential functions, and we are going also to explore on another way of solving the derivatives of algebraic functions or other type of functions by a chain rule and implicit differentiation. So let's start this discussion. We have first for the first uh, discussion we are going to have the discussion on uh, table or, or the derivatives of our trigonometric function so I presented here the table of the derivatives of six basic trigonometric functions so we have sine cosine tangent cotangent second and cosecant so if you are asked to find the derivative of sine x automatic the derivative of sine x will be equal to cosine x for the derivative of your cosine x, it will be equal to negative sine x. Derivative of your tangent x will be equal to second squared x. Derivative of our cotangent x will be automatically be equal to negative cos second squared x. The derivative of second x will be second x tangent x. And derivative of your cos second x will be negative cos second x cotangent x. So, um, if... Uh, Manunduman ko during the previous years, hanggang tudlo ko, derivatives or calculus man, basic calculus. Ginapa sa ulo ko ni sa sujante, no? But now, you also need to familiarize sing in sa ara. Makamasin yung mga balay when solving with the problems. But also, uh, as much as possible, mas okay, gig ko sa ulo tan yung derivatives of trigonometric functions. So, para uh, medyo ara na daan sa aton nga mind before or especially kung mag-solve kita sa mga problems. So, we are going to apply this in solving sa ato nga mga problems. So, para mas uh, maintindihan natin kung paano siya gamiton. So, we have first natin yung example will be g of x is equal to 3 second x minus 10 cotangent x. So, if you are asked to find the derivative of this one, so, what shall we do? Uh, still, we are going to apply the basic rule of differentiation such as the constant rule, the constant multiple rule, the product rule, the subtraction rule, the addition rule. So, apply mo na siya po natin. But this time, we are also going to integrate or to use the formulas for the derivative of your uh, trigonometric function. So, i-upod na natin ang ininga mga uh, concept of derivatives ng ato ngayon, trigonometric function sa previous natin ngayon discussion. So, we have derivative of 3 second x. So, we have a constant here. This is a constant multiple rule. So, what we are going to do is to copy the 3 kay constant multiple siya. So, we have copy na to ng 3. So, we have 3. Then, what is the derivative? So, we are asked of the derivative of your g. So, of x. So, that will be g prime x. So, what is the derivative of second x? So, we are going to look at the derivative of second x that is equal to second x tangent x. So, we are going to put it here. We will have second x and tangent x. Next, we have next na term we will have negative 10 cotangent x. So, anong yung derivative? So, this is still constant multiple rule. So, kapit ang negative 10. So, we have negative 10. So, derivative of your cotangent x, so derivative of our cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x. So, we are going to copy negative cosecant squared x. Okay, so now, this could be at the final answer, but still we can uh, manipulate pa sa equation or simplify the equation. So, we will have to distribute the negative signs. So, we will have 3 second of x. Then, we have tangent x. Then, multiplying the two negative, we will have positive. Positive. So, take note that this is second squared x. So, we will have plus 10 to second squared x. Next, we have the derivative of h 
uh, w which is having the equation 3 raised to negative 3, 3 w raised to negative 4 minus w squared tangent w so we have dual equation we have 3 w negative 4 and this one for this one we can see that we need to perform the operation and apply the constant multiple rule so copy nato ng 3 we will have or pwede na lang multiply natin diretso at an exponent. So, we'll have negative 4 times 3. That will be negative 12. Copy natin ang atin nga uh, constant or ang atin nga variable will have w. And then, sa atin exponent, we'll have negative 4 minus 1. That will be equal to negative 5. And then, para sa atin nga second term, we'll have this one. We have dua ka term. So, we'll have w squared and we have tangent of w. So, we have so, we have to apply sang aton nga product rule. So, we are going to let sang aton nga u is equal to w squared. And then, ang aton nga v will be equal to tangent w. Now, we are going to find the value of your derivative of u and derivative of v. So, this will be equal to derivative sang aton u will be 2w. And then the derivative of our tangent w will be, so base dari, we will have, is lan mo lang imo x as w, so that will be equal to second squared w. So we have, next, for the product formula, if ammonia ang pagplus star ni mo, so u will have to cross multiply lang diretso. So u dv plus v du. So we will have, so, copy natin ang sign natin, which is negative. We'll have negative u dv. So, we'll have w squared. dv natin is second squared w. And then, v du plus v du. v natin is tangent w times 2w. So, that will be 2w tangent w. So, now, distribute the negative sign. In order for us to have the final answer in negative 12, w raised to negative 5 minus, so w squared, second squared, w minus 2w tangent w. So this now will be atonya final answer. Okay, for the next slide, we have here, I presented the uh, table of derivatives for exponential functions. So, please familiarize for the derivative of your e raised to x that will automatically be equal to e raised to uh, x man japon, hindi mag-change ng atong value. For l and x, we will have 1 all, one all over x. For a raised to x, where a is any constant, for example, any constant. So, atun value will be a raised to x, l and a. For atun ni log of to the base of any constant x, that will be equal to 1 all over x, l and a. So, we are going to apply this concept in solving sa atun nga um, mga a derivative of the following functions. So, you are going, you will be asked kung paano natun isolve ang atun nga functions um S of t is equal to t raised to e raised to the power of t. So this one, we have, take note, may duwata ka function, may ara ka t, and may ara ka e raised to t. So this time, let us let, sa nga itong u, so we have product rule, kay duwaka function, so u natin sa una will be t, ang atong nga v will be equal to e raised to the power of t. So then, atong nga derivative, du natin, and we have dv. So, du naton is, derivative sang u naton will be, since t lang siya, so automatic atong derivative will be equal to 1. e raised to t, so base aton nga derivative kaginan nakwa. So, e raised to, so yung amunigam ito naton, so we have to copy lang sang aton nga uh, derivative. So, we have e raised to t. Then, we are going to cross multiply. So, Cross na lang na diretso. So, we have u dv plus v du lang man siya. So, u dv. So, we have t e raised to t plus v du which is e raised to 
dt. So, pwede lang siya no video may plus udv or udv plus video depende sa inyo. But still, that will be the same. So, this will be equal sa ito s prime t. This now will be ito nga final answer. Okay, next example, we have r of w, which is equal to 4w minus 5 lag of 9w. So, we are going to apply sa ito nga formulas. So, we have 4w Okay, so we have 4 W, so automatic, at an uh, answer will be R prime W is equal to, so derivative of 4 W will be equal to 4. Then, derivative sa aton nga negative 5 lag to the base 9 W will be equal to, so we have to use lag to the base 9, so aton nga will be this one. Lag to the base 9 W, so we have 1 all over W ln of 9. So, we have so minus, so pagwa ko lang 5, okay, this is aton nga constant, we will have, then multiply naton sa derivative sa aton nga ari, which is uh, 1. So, take note lang ang aton nga derivative is 1 all over x ln a. So, that will be equal to 1 all over aton x, there is w Putangan natin ln, and then natin yung base nga, 9. So, pwede natin siya simplify as, so we have 4 minus 5 all over W ln 9. So, at an answer will be 4 minus 5 ln of 9. So, muna ni dahil natin nga, final answer. Okay, another example, we have function of x is equal to 3 raised e raised to x plus 10 x cube ln x. So, we are going to apply the uh, formulas. So, combination or the apply man natin, integrate natin sa previous natin yung mga nabalaan. So, we will have this one. So, constant multiple rules. We have 3. Copy ta lang. And then, derivative of your e raised to x. Still, copy lang siya po. And derivative of your e raised to x is e raised to x man siya so, copy. So, we have e raised to x plus. So, take note, we have duaderica function. So, we have 10x cubed sa piyak and we have ln x sa piyak. So, we will have, so let u is equal to 10 ln, 10x cubed I mean. So, then aton nga v will be ln of x. So, derivative of your u is equal to 30x squared. And derivative of your v or dv natin is equal to, so, balikan natin ha, derivative of your ln x is 1 all over x. So, we have 1 all over x. So, we are going to cross multiply para sa ito answer. So, we'll have so, depende sa inyo, VDU plus UDV or UDV plus VDU since addition naman sila, di ba? So, we will have, so, VDU naman kita sa buong kay para uh, bisan din lang pakita natin. So, we will have 30 x squared ln x plus, so, 10 x cubed times 1 all over x. So, we are going to perform na sa operation since siya gid kinang muna nang itsura but we are going to combine na lang dali sa dalom so we will have 3 e raised to x then plus so we have 30 x squared ln of x plus so we can simplify we will have pwede natin makansel ang x kag ang isa dali sa minus 1 kita sa exponent so that will be equal to 10 x squared. This now will be aton nga final answer. Okay, this time we are going to have the 
uh, concept na ginatawag natin, chain rule of differentiation. So, this time, medyo budlay siya i-express kung nasa amunin siya nga form or sa amunin explanation, but we are going to show na lang through sa example. So, medyo ang concept sini nagamit na natin previously. So, pwede natin ma-solve for sa mga power rule, but this time, pwede natin mas magam magamitan pag ito sa isa pagit ka way of solving sang ato nga derivative. So, gam gamito natin ang chain rule to differentiate, for example, of 5x minus 8. So, okay lang siya kung isa lang siya ka-variable, but if uh, naka naira na siya bi-binomial or uh, damo-damo, being uh, polynomials da or, or terms ang nakabutang, so medyo mabudayan kita mag-differentiate sini kung naka-square root siya. But, if you are going to apply the chain rule, so ang himuon natin is, we are going to express this one into its exponential form that will be equal to 5z minus 8 raised to 1 half. And then, himuon natin is, papanaog lang ni natin, so, that will be, panaog siya natin, applyan natin siya power rule. So, atong power rule will be this one. So, panaog natin ang 1 half, we will have 1 half here. Copy mani natin dyan po. Ang atong kabilugan ng term, we will have 5z minus 8, then minus 1 to exponent. 1 half minus 1 will be negative 1 half, then derived ang sa sulod. So, derivatives ang sa sulod. Derivative sa natin 5z minus 8 is 5 na lang. So, ang muna siya nga, nagawa muna natin nga, equation. Then, manipulate na lang. So, since negative 1 half, pwede natin ipapanaog. It will be 1 half. Square root of 5z minus 8. So, copy ito lang ang 5. Then, uh, atin simplify. So, we'll have this one. So, ang muna ginhimo natin, pag isa, sininga, um, function. So, we have the inside function. Ang inside function natin is array. Then, ang atin yung outside function is 1 half raised to 1 half. Then, para makasolve kita, ginhimo natin is derive natin ang outside function. Ginmultiply or ginpapanaog natin ng 1 half para sa power rule. So, take note nga if you have power rule 0 raised to 1 half. So, kung mag-derive ka, that will be equal to negative or this will be equal to 1 half z of negative 1 half. But this time, 1 half, ang atong nga z is lantas ang atong nga base na 5z raised to negative 8, then kapita ang negative 1 half. And then derived natin dari ang z natin, which is dz. So, muna siya ang atong nga general form. So, pwede nga muna. So, that will be uh, sa muna ang form. So, we are going to apply this concept sa iban pagid nga example. So, we will have, for example, we have sine of 3x squared plus x. So, we have this one. So, ano ang aton nga? Um, uh, function. So, we have sine of 3x squared plus x. So, ang outside function naton, so, anong ara sa gua? So, ang ara sa gua naton will be the sine. So, anong derivative sang sine naton? Derivative of your sine. So, based sa uh, rule sa aton nga trigonometric function, derivative of sine is equal to cosine. So, cosine, then copy mo lang din ang kabilugan ng term, cosine of 3x squared plus x. Then, ari na din, derive natin ang sasulod. Multiply mo lang sa gwa. Derivative of 3x squared will be equal to 6x plus 1. So, amunan ni siya din, multiply natin. But take note that this one is of the 9. Amunan silang of the 9, ha? So, sila pwede i-multiply dari kundi ipagwa natin ng 6x plus 1. So, we have 6x plus 1 cosine of 3x squared plus x. So, this one will be ito nga, final answer. So, we are going to apply this sa isa pagkid ka example. So, we will have example natin, 2t, so take note lang at this will be 2t cubed, so 2t cube niya, cosine t raised to 50. So, we will have to find the value of your f prime t. So, this will be equal to So, we will have ang aton nga equation will be this one. So, do parish lang na siya nga may ara kay u raised to 50. So, u na aton is equal to 
50. So, kung mag-derive ka sa u raised to 50, we will have 50 u raised to 49. So, kapihon ta lang ni. So, we will have u 50. But take note, ang atun nga u is 2t cubed cosine t. So, 2t cubed plus cosine t. So, raised to 49. Now, i-derive na ito ng atong u. Ang muna di atong ibutang sa punta. Derivative sa atong u, u na ito is 2t cubed plus cosine t. So, ano derivative sin eh? We have 6t squared plus derivative of your cosine is negative sine. So, this will be negative sine of t. So, multiply ni siya na ito. So, we'll have 6t squared plus minus sine t. Okay, so we are going to simplify sa ngatong equation. So, arrange based sa increasing order or the exp nga exponent. So, 50, unahon natin ang constant. Then, we have, since wala siya exponent, unahon natin ang 6 t squared minus sine t. Then, since may ara ka 49, daring exponent, so sa punta siya 2 t cubed plus cosine t raised to 49. This now will be atong nga final answer. Okay, so we have next nga problem which is e raised to ang yang exponent is naka polynomial. So we have e raised to w to the fourth minus 3w squared plus 9. So we are going to find the derivative or ang ato nga h prime w. So, take note. Ato nga function, for example, is e raised to u. So, kung mag-derive kita sa e raised to u based sa ato nga equation sa babaw, for your um, exponential function, so, kapihon talang ang e raised to u, for example. So, we are going to copy lang sa e raised to u. Okay, so, muna siya kung mag- uh, ano kita mag derive kita but we are going to write here du so derivative sang u na to. this time ang aton nga u is represented by sang w to the fourth minus 3w squared plus 9 so ano ang aton nga du or derivative sang aton nga u this will be equal to so 4 w cubed then 2 times negative 3 will be negative 6 W. So, amun niya ito nga, du. So, isulatan ang du, we'll have kapita ni e raised to u du. Amun na di ito ang answer. e raised to u na ito, e raised to ito nga u is w to the fourth minus 3w squared plus 9. Then, ang ito nga, du nga, 4w cubed minus 6w. Okay, so take note nga kung magsulat ka, kinangalan mo, ang aton nga may exponential function will be ara sa punta dapat. So, ang proper yung pagsulat sina will be that one. So, sulat naton, rearrange ta lang, we will have 4w cubed minus 6w. Then, we will have e raised to w to the fourth 